Hello everyone, welcome to Icarus Proud Bottoms World of Typing Weekly, Episode 3. Let's begin. Episode 3. Art thou itching to know what happens next? Fear not, for the, um, scratch is coming. Wow, that line was terrible. Who writes this stuff? Anyways, first, a recap. Last time on Icarus. I always misspell this for some reason. Proud Bottoms. There we go. Last time on Icarus Proud Bottoms World of Typing Weekly. After searching for clues and questioning witnesses, Mark 22 was attacked by the mysterious technician named Kelso. Holy mackerel, I seem to have gotten shut down. Hmm, but I can't remember how. Actually, I seem to have lost all my memory. No worries, I'm sure this problem can be solved with a wonderful power of computing. Load all teraflop computer RAM gigabits. What? Teraflop computer RAM gigabits. I don't think that's actually a thing. That doesn't make any sense. Into primary hard drive. Ah, oh, that feels good. Now, let's load up my memories. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. None of that makes any sense. Defrag ROM into motherboard. What? Flush hard drive. Cache. RAMs. Random access memories into central processing unit gigahertz. What? Uh, okay. Forward all kilobytes. To soft memory ports. <laughs> it's just a word salad. This is all real computer code. Oh, sure, it is Mark 22. I'm starting to remember. Mark 22. My name is Mark 22. Let's see what else I can remember. Clear local memory cache and reload all short term memories. I remember. Trust not the pygmy. Trust not the pygmy. Load secondary local memory cache into gigrom bit front side bus. <laughs> Flash memory ROMs into main port CPU. There is no time. My god. I'm close to understanding. All I need to do is ask Apollo, Lucida, and Jerry a few more questions. However, although my mind is working, my body is still shut down. Let's fix that. Start primary motors and prepare main body for activation. Error. Damn. Let's try something else. Refresh all motor drivers. Reinitiate. Oh, that's the first time I messed up, I think, so far. Reinitiate primary motors. Working. Working. Error. Wow, I'm just full of beans today. Okay, okay, okay. Let's find out what the specific problem is. Well, there's my first problem. I misspelled like the third letter. Troubleshoot. Problem with primary motors. Searching for errors. Searching for errors. Critical error found. Damage to a primary circuit or engine detected. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Scan for errors in all primary primary circuits. Automatically corrects all errors found. 
correcting. Correcting. Unable to correct. Surge detected in main circuit. Initiating shutdown of primary computer core. Well, folks, looks like that's it. Got what looks like an unfixable problem in a primary circuit. Basically, I'm dead. Don't worry, though. It's not your fault. You typed well. This is one problem that can't be solved by typing. My only regret is that I didn't have time to crack the case. And I feel like I was so close. Dang. Well, see you in another life. Maybe. Mark 22! No! Okay, folks, looks like we've got ourselves a bit of a situation here. Mark 22's knocked out cold, and Kelso's nowhere to be seen. There's a freaking murder dude running around. It's a very dangerous situation, for realsies. Okay, here's what I think we should do. The three of us, you, me, and Jerry, head into the office. If we lock ourselves in there, we should be safe from Kelso. I doubt he'll go after the three of us if we stick together. With this idea, I do agree. Then it is decided to the office. Okay. Now that we're all stuck in here, we should be totally open with one another. I'll start by saying something. Jerry, I find it a bit difficult to fully trust you. Oh, ye gods. Yeah, Jerry, I kind of have to agree with Lucida here. You've been acting somewhat sketchy, little dude. Now, I know it was Mark 22's job to crack this case. But while he's out of commission, I think we're entitled to some answers. <sighs> okay, I will cooperate. Because I have not to hide. Not, I say. Not. Not. I'll sit in the chair and take whatever questions you have. Okay, no use waiting. Let's clear up some of our questions. Why didn't... I quit. <laughs> Why didn't you mention Kelso before? Hmm. Doesn't that seem like a strange oversight? Honestly, it did not seem relevant enough to mention. To me, it seems clear that Kelso is not the killer. Why is that? Allow me to explain. We all know that Icarus was killed in the storage room. Directly, before he was killed, he was visited by Apollo, and then Lucida. So, did either of you see Kelso in the storage room, when you were there? Hmm. Nope, I definitely didn't see anyone in there. And it's a small room, so I don't know where he'd hide. I didn't see him. It was just the two of us. Okay, so he wasn't in there before the murder. So what? He wasn't in the storage closet. He wasn't in the main typing room. And he wasn't hiding in this office. If he was, he would have been found earlier. Which means he must have been either upstairs or downstairs. Immediately before and immediately after the murder. For Kelso to climb a set of stairs, murder Icarus and climb back, all in the span of a few seconds, Seems impossible to me. Hmm. You do have a point. However... If Kelso is innocent... Then... Why did he attack Mark 22? In the tech center? That I know not. He's not the brightest fellow and is easily spooked. From the tech center, one can monitor the happenings in the main typing room. Perhaps seeing Icarus's murder shattered his goofy little brain, and now he's bugging? Wait a minute. I just remembered something else you told Mark 22. You said that the lights are controlled from the tech center. 
the lights went off when Icarus was murdered. Doesn't that mean that Kelso must have shut off the lights? Yes, I agree. And that also reinforces why I believe he is not the killer. One scenario seems likely. That Kelso assisted in the murder by controlling the lights. Which means he was merely an accomplice. An accomplice to whom? One of you, Scrubs. Okay, okay, little guy. In your opinion, then. Who do you think killed? Icarus? Proudbottom. At the moment, I most suspect Lucida. Doi? <laughs> Is that what that says? Doi? I don't even know what that means. However, my suspicions might be lessened if she were to answer some questions. Lucida, you're the person here we know least about. Perhaps it's time you take the chair. Well, you've done nothing to prove your innocence. But, okay, fair is fair. Let's switch. Hit me with your best shot. I'll fire away. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. When you first arrived here, Icarus seemed shocked to see you. What is your history with him? When I first arrived here, I told you that I was a top-ranked member of the ITC. That's the International Typing Council, of course. Anyways, Icarus was in a bit of trouble with the ITC. The members disapproved of his teaching methods. They thought he was too unorthodox. One month ago, they summoned Icarus to their headquarters for a meeting. A meeting, you say? Hmm. And what was the porpoise? What was the porpoise of this meeting? Well, let's talk about Icarus. When Icarus taught, he didn't worry about teaching the basic typing standards. You know, hand placement, proper form, hydration, stretches, etc. Icarus focused solely on making typing as exciting and fun as possible. The council disapproved of his methods, but I didn't. You see, I love typing. How can anyone who truly loves typing disapprove of Icarus Proudbottom? Anyways, after his meeting with the council, I talked to him in private. I explained to him that I was on his side, that I would try to fight the council and stop them from taking disciplinary measures. Again, this all happened a month ago. An interesting tale, but it's only half of the story, is it not? It only explains your past relationship, but... Why did you come here today? When you arrived, you said you had to talk to him. Urgently. What was that about? Well, just yesterday, the council reached a decision. An extremely harsh decision. They decided to strip Icarus of his typing license. I came here to break the news to Icarus as gently as possible. Icarus probably looked shocked because, when he saw me, he realized that the council had reached a, de a decision. Anyways, I told him that I would try to fight the decision, but that things looked grim. He was devastated when he learned he was going to lose his typing license. He said he needed a minute to mull things over, alone. So I left him, alone, in the storage room. Just a few seconds later, the lights went out, and, well, you know what happens next. Holy crap. He was going to lose his typing license. Which was, of course, his most prized possession. He wouldn't be able to teach, teach typing any longer. Is it... Is it possible? That it was suicide? I seriously doubt it. 
the murder weapon seemed to be a keyboard. For a man to kill himself with a plastic object like that seems impossible. Also, of course, Icarus wasn't the type. I'm his spirit animal. He knew that, no matter how bad a situation seemed. I would help him resolve it. It is my task. Okay, so... What do we do now? Well, Jerry and I have both answered questions about our pasts. Maybe it's time we learn a little bit about you. But, I'm so chill and unassuming. Whatever, I'm cool with it. Move aside, I'll take the chair. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't hit the wrong letter. I'm not sure why that messed up. I guess I didn't wait long enough. It seems suspicious... Suspicious. That you arrived on the very day that Icarus died. Why did you decide... To visit this place... Now? Mark22 asked me the same question in last week's episode. Yeah, man, to be honest, it seems pretty suspicious to me, too. I don't know. I hadn't seen Icarus in years, I just decided to come. What are the chances, right? Hmm. Most curious. I have one more question to ask. Why did you... Why did you... Hmm... Why did you... What the heck? That's not a question at all. Yes. This is most odd. I'm having trouble remembering what I was going to ask. Let me ask him a question then. When you first arrived... What did... What did... Uh... Are you guys okay? My mind feels fogged. Like Jerry, I also can't remember what I was going to ask you. Yes, it, it feels as you describe like a mental fog. The both of us have been under intense stress as of late. And much like you, I've not had time to grieve Icarus's death. Perhaps this grief is blunting our minds. I was Icarus' spirit animal. The separation has not been easy for me. If only I had some way to release this emotion. Well? I have an idea. There's a typewriter in this room. I think Mark 22 used it to jot down notes about the case. Why don't we all sit down and write a eulogy for Icarus? Collect our thoughts and put them on paper. That sounds like a great idea. Okay. Eulogy for Icarus Proudbottom. Icarus Proudbottom was a kind soul. He was undoubtedly, uh, doubtedly, there we go, the most loved and cherished video game character, oops, of all time, with his games made in the highly respected and universally loved web platform Flash. Oh, hold, hold on. The highly respected and universally loved web platform Flash. No. I hate Flash. Flash... <clears throat> I'm, I'm holding... I'm, I'm giving the finger to my monitor. I'm not saying screw my monitor. I love my monitor, but I hate Flash. Screw you, Flash. Anyway, he won over the hearts of gamers throughout the globe. His games were way better than Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, Half-Life, Zelda, etc. His goal was simple to make gamers smile. A good way to remember him is to donate 
to any future holy wow <laughs> kickstarters <laughs> yes may icarus rest in peace i feel better already now uh we can't just hide in this room forever what do we do next well, have I ever told you guys that I'm an ancient American Indian spirit animal? Yes, yes you have. Well, I'm imbued with several magics. And there is one magic I can use which may help us. Whoa. Well, what is it? I can reach into the fabric of reality. And from that fabric, extract a truth. One truth, one fact indisputable but I can only do this once and I cannot choose the fact the fact will come to me kind of like a Ouija board but with an owl instead of a board Wow trippy well what do we have to lose right I say let's do it go ahead Jerry okay here I go brace yourselves this may get intense I am channeling the ancient knowledge of the spirit animal kingdom. Ageless knowledge, pure truth, tied directly to the fabric of the cosmos. Of this knowledge, I ask a request. Shed light on our current situation. Reveal a truth that has not yet been revealed. I'm getting something. I'm getting one letter at a time. Bear with me. Of the three people in this room two have be been lying. <sighs> About everything? Of the three people in this room, two have been lying about everything. I can't believe it. Thou art both liars. What? No, it's you. I can't believe both you and Apollo have been lying. Seriously? You and Jerry have been lying this whole time? Not cool. Hmm. This is difficult. I don't think we'll be able to discern who among us are the liars. Not without more information. Not without more answers. But how do we get answers? There's one man here that has answers. We need to find Kelso. Yes. We find Kelso. We find Kelso. Oh yeah, this again. Mark, Mark 22, can you hear me? Wow, he shut down. <laughs> Take a look at this scrub. Can't even self-correct a simple circuit malfunction. <sighs> we need you up and working, little buddy, so you can finish the job you came here to do. Let's see if I can poke around inside there via remote connection. Unplug power source. Wait 10 seconds. Plug in power source. Well, that ought to do it, and just in time. I'm losing signal again. Ugh. Good luck, and see you later.
There he is. Loading. Loading. All systems fully loaded. Huh. What do you know? I'm back from the dead. Great. Now they're going to say I'm some sort of Jesus character. Weird. I can't remember how I got back online. Maybe it's a gift from the typing gods. Anyways, enough time wasted. It's time to prepare some hot, juicy justice. And then serve that justice to the customers, the general populace. Wow, that line was terrible. Who writes this stuff? Yes, I feel more confident than ever. This case will be solved, and soon. Oh dang, oh heck, they're after me. Gotta make sure they don't find me. Gotta make sure he doesn't find me. Gotta make sure he doesn't find out that I know the truth. The truth that only I can see. The truth about this horrible place. The truth about everything that has happened. And the truth about him. <sighs> okay. The truth is going to come out. Apologies to David Lynch, Mark Frost, and Angelo Battle something. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Icarus Proud Bottom's World of Typing Weekly, Episode 3, and I will be back, well, probably next week for the next episode. Thank you for watching.